The cloudy weather rising from incomplete combustion of carbon particles resulting to soot in River State has continued to be a source of concern to the people. Artisanal refining, gas flaring, and industrial waste discharge suspected to be responsible for the soot have continued with no clear court measures by authority to end it years after the recommendation of the committee set up in this regard. Nigeria needs to reduce its carbon emissions and try to see how it reduces its dependency on fossil fuels. That way we can now reduce the impact it has on the climate and also reduce the impact it has on the everyday life that we live. We must stop the issue of um, you know, artisanal refining that is responsible for the occurrence of soot, which is an incomplete combustion of carbon products. The government also have to take proactive steps by stopping the issue of burning. Those tax forces that are set to stop these illegal you know, refiners shouldn't be burning these products when they meet them at the refining site, but they should confiscate them. With the challenge posed by the viral infection of COVID-19, environmentalists worry about the dusty particles of the soot on physical property with its attendant effects on human health, particularly the aged and children being more vulnerable. Improper waste disposal method, they say, is a huge concern that must be addressed to ensure a clean and safe environment. You must plant a tree. Every person should be part of that agricultural revolution of combating the soot. And then we plant more mangrove. A lot of those byproducts that those poor fire people have killed all our mangrove. While the security agencies are making frantic efforts to address illegal refining in the Niger Delta region, stakeholders contend that the full takeoff of the modular refinery is a key to ending soot in the region.